remember one of our brothers who uh, who fell in equality this last week. Uh, we all, uh, you know, it's a brotherhood we're part of. We all love each other like family, and and for one of us to lose our life in the line of duty is a hard thing to do. So if you would, just please join me in a word of prayer for his family. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we, we lift up to you uh, Michael Johnston's family. Lord, he was uh, serving his community and done such a well job, such a good job at that. Lord, we, we ask that you would put, place your your hands of patience and your hands of healing upon his family at this loss, Lord. I always love to come to these when we have pushback ceremonies because it gives me another opportunity to tell each and every one of you and all y'all know how I feel about each and every one of you and what you do for our community. It really touches home when you hear about a fellow volunteer firefighter losing his life in the line of duty because that's what y'all do every day, every night when y'all answer that call. So again, congratulations on another beautiful piece of equipment for the Pike Road Volunteer Fire Department, but more importantly, thank you to each and every one of you again on behalf of Montgomery County for what y'all do to protect my family and all the many families in Montgomery County. Head in some areas, uh, apparatus purchases, equipment purchases, that sort of thing. Uh, the latest grant we received, we announced several weeks ago, was a staffing grant, being able to hire two full-time uh, firefighters. So that's something that's really helpful, uh, and and the we. We wouldn't be able to go out and, and, and seek that kind of funding without the trust and the support of the board. Uh, and again, that just goes back to we, we could not do what we do without their support. So far, we're very excited about the capability it's going to bring us. This is a, a truck that we're planning to use in our more rural areas, not necessarily in the neighborhoods. Uh, not to say it'll never go to the neighborhood, but that's not what it's designed for. Uh, we have other trucks that are designed for that. So I think this is a really going to be a useful truck for us. Um, so some of you may be asking why we're here today. Uh, pushing this perfectly good truck that has a good reverse gear in it into the back. Well, what this is, this is a way for us to show respect to all those firefighters that came before us by honoring their tradition. The tradition of housing and pushback started in the 1800s. Basically, that was during the time of horse-drawn fire apparatus. When a company would return from a run, members would have to disconnect the horses and push the apparatus back into the uh, firehouse uh, because horses usually would not go backwards. They would, but it was very difficult to get them to go backwards. Um, same was true when they received a new pumper. The reason for the washdown that we'll do in a few minutes was most of the time uh, when a new pumper was put in service, the old pumper was put out of service. Remember, they probably only had one pumper. And when I say pumper, I mean it, that's what it did was pump. It's not necessarily an engine. Uh, they would transfer the water from the old pumper to the new pumper. And most of the times it spilled out on the pumper, so they would have to dry it off and wash it down. Of course, the other explanation is they were getting the horse droppings off the wheels and the side of the carriage. So you can choose which one you think. Most important part of, of the ceremony was the new pumper was always a celebration for the firefighters and the community alike. Uh, that's the same today. We've come a long way since those days. Our engines are no longer horse-drawn. New technologies help keep our citizens and firefighters safe, but the tradition remains. Our new engine is still a celebration of our firefighters and our community. This engine was built to serve, to serve the community. And to help us get, us, get that service underway, I'll ask firefighter Steve Richardson to bestow a blessing on new engine one. Let us pray. Almighty God, creator and sustainer of us all, we offer this new apparatus, Engine One. Lord, we offer our lives, our skills, and all the implementations of our trade to your glory and to meet the emergency needs of the people of Pike Road. We are humbled that you have brought us together here today to that you allow us to be a part of this team. We offer little compared to what you have given to us but in your grace, you accept our gifts and multiply our efforts, and for that, we are eternally grateful. We're so appreciative of all that you bestow upon us for this new apparatus, for the firefighters and emergency personnel that will use this equipment to respond to the needs of our people. Help us, O oh God, to use this piece of equipment and implement our trade, the skills and knowledge, and all you have provided for us. 
to the glory of your holy name. Lord, we bless this truck and all who ride upon it. We ask that you would protect them and keep them safe. Walk with us through the fire, O oh God. Protect every man, woman, and woman of this department as they give their wholehearted devotion to the job to which they have been called by you. In thy holy name we pray. Amen. This truck has been a long time coming. We were, uh, were fortunate we received a grant from the Department of Homeland Security in 2017 for this truck. Uh, that provided a little over $214,000. Uh, we were able to put some money with that uh, to be able to make this into an, what we call a pumper tanker. Uh, it's, it can run in the role of both an engine or a pumper, as some departments call it, and a tanker. Uh, that means it can pull up, pull hoses off, and go to fighting fire if it needs to, or if there is a fire scene somewhere that needs water brought to it and dumped in a dump tank or pumped off a couple of the different tactics we're able to use, it's able to do that as well. So it